Hey, welcome back everyone to the National Hurricane Center's live stream where we're about to give you an update on a recently formed uh, tropical storm Fiona. This is the seventh named storm of the 2022 hurricane season. And let's first start with a big picture here. You can see the big satellite image. Let me pro give you a geography. This over here is Africa, South America, the Southeast United States, and the Caribbean. And Fiona is here approaching the Leeward and Windward Islands. Now, if we walk over here to the, to the big picture, you can again see where we are in proximity to the Atlantic Basin. This is Fiona right now, again, a tropical storm, moving along west at about 13 miles per hour. So if we zoom in a quick uh, on the image, uh, visible imagery here, you can see this little circulation poking out right here. This is actually the low level circulation. Now, while your eyes are drawn to all this color enhanced shower and thunderstorm activity, this is actually the location of Fiona. Now, what this is showing you is that strong westerly winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere are shearing the system or rather blowing the thunderstorm activity off of this low level circulation. Now, this is good news because this will typically inhibit significant development. So we're not looking at rapid uh, intensification at this point, just maybe a slow and steady increase in intensity as it marches towards the leeward and windward islands. Speaking of the track, here we are. Here's the track again. So the leewards, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and Haiti. Um, just moving along at a general westward clip over the next several days. Um, we do have uh, tropical storm warnings here in blue, tropical storm watch in yellow. So the area is under a warning. The northern leeward islands, including Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts, Nevis, Montserrat, Anguilla, Saba, and St. Eustasis. So these are the areas where tropical storm conditions are expected, especially Friday night, Friday evening. Now, then it tracks over or near Puerto Rico on Sunday. And then things get a little bit uncertain as we move out in here, because there's a lot of land interaction that will ultimately dictate where the system will go. Most especially Hispaniola has some really, really high mountains up to 10,000 feet that could play a big part in where Fiona goes. Looking at the highest chance, so the colors here show you where the highest probability of tropical storm force winds are. So if you sort of focus on these bright colors, you can see where the highest probability, hence the tropical storm warnings that we talked about here in a second. The highest probability tropical storm conditions of the northern Leeward Islands potentially spreading across Puerto Rico later in the weekend. The other thing to note here is the timing of when these winds might start occurring. So you can see here Friday in, in the, uh, the, the warning area, then moving into Puerto Rico potentially as early as Saturday morning, and then Dominican Republic uh, Saturday evening. It's subject to change, but that's the timing as of this moment, uh, this forecast. Now, the big hazards here for a system that's a tropical storm, not necessarily a hurricane, um, will be rain. Potentially large amounts of rain, especially over eastern portions of Puerto Rico, where you get upwards of 10 inches of rain over the next several days as the system passes over or near them. Uh, another big threat area, um, lots of wave action along the northern coast of uh, Puerto Rico. That'll in indicate the dangerous surf conditions and the potential for rip currents. A lot of people don't realize just how dangerous rip currents are and how many people we lose each year uh, or lives lost from rip current. So while it may be tempting to go out and look at this particular storm, you really should stay away from the coastline as uh, Fiona passes over or near Puerto Rico in the next couple of days. So that's going to do it for us here at the National Hurricane Center. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on our various live streams. We're now live streaming on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube Live. So uh, whichever outlet you like best, you'll please join us and we will keep you continuously updated as the season goes on. That's it for the National Hurricane Center.